Uh, it's wonderful to see so many familiar faces. We, uh, many of us cut our teeth together on green economy and green growth through the OECD green growth strategy, the UNEP green economy report, uh, and, and I have to say the interaction with, with USCIB was really incredible and, and we hope to continue that through the work on the post-2015 framework. Um, I also want to say hello to many of my fellow negotiators. You look much better than uh, you did after after two weeks in Rio, and it's uh, great to see everyone looking so well. Um, and, and thank you to USDIB for hosting this, and, and also to Pfizer. It's it's really important, and I think you heard this morning from Daniela Ballou Air. She's uh, working very closely on the post 2015 framework, but. The U.S. is very much in the early stages of consultations, of developing positions uh, in preparation. And so the time of engaging with us right now is really critical because we're still very much in the formulation phase. I think we've all seen some of these, the good inputs come out of the high-level panel, the discussions this week, um, and those are really informative and I think we'll be in a time now of of really harnessing this energy. Uh, we had Secretary Kerry speak on this earlier this week, and so that, that really creates a new level of urgency and initiative within the department. I can tell you the, uh, the number of people who attend the meetings uh, doubles or triples when you get the Secretary to show up and talk about it. So um, that's where we are within the department. It's really uh, an exciting time to be thinking about these issues. and. And I think for, for some of those who were involved in the Rio process, it's also an exciting time for sustainable development and looking at how the new architecture, the new structures really lend themselves to uh, strengthening where we are on sustainable development and green growth. And, and uh, I think as Brian was saying, green growth not being a destination but a process and this very individually uh, tailored process, every country having different interests, different constraints, and trying to figure out what, what's going to work for me, what's going to work in this situation. And so, I, you know, the Rio process was great in that we leveraged um, a lot of reports and inputs to help countries make those decisions. So you see, as I mentioned, the OECD, the World Bank, um, UNEP, really, really providing some of the the foundational work to help us understand, and there are some academics here as well who are helping us understand what are the options out there, what's worked in the past, what's not working. And I think one of the lessons we have learned is that the private sector is key to all of this. We're not going to uh, government to government solve these problems in a way that leveraging foreign direct investment, leveraging economic growth can can really leverage a, a magnitude difference of change and an opportunity and some of the outcomes we want to see on, on health, on social issues, on improving the environment. And so um, we've all learned that economic growth and environmental protection aren't a zero-sum game. And we all agree that sustainable use of natural resources Environmental and environmental protection can and will improve our economic performance and help us secure a prosperous future. Um, we, we started in the United States in 2011 uh, with the host of APEC, really uh, the president launched a green growth package and we've seen continued recommitment to this. Uh, if you've, uh, just in September, he did a speech at Georgetown talking about leveraging investment for low emissions development. Uh, among other policies, but but you can see that there is still this strong commitment within the United States to to think about these these solutions and opportunities. Um, so I, I don't want to get too bogged down, but as I said, uh, the U.S. is still still very much in a formative stage of our policies and and really welcome the dialogue with business. I'd like to just throw out a couple of questions. I hope I'm not. Uh, no, I turn on the computer, but I hope I'm not uh, jumping the gun here. But from a U.S. government perspective, what we're interested in hearing is, uh, in the context of this green economy, is how you see this meshing in with the post-2015 framework and hearing about what your priorities are, what challenges you see as this framework's emerging, 
um, and what kind of partnerships we can forge to help help move this forward in a way that's that's productive, uh, not only for companies, but productive uh, in achieving the goals we really want to achieve with the post-2015 framework. So thank you.